Oh, hi there. My name's Ben, and I'm an educator with Embracing Our Differences. A lot of students know about Embracing Our Differences because they've taken a free field trip to our annual outdoor art exhibit and seen one of the more than 50 billboard size artworks and quotations submitted by students and adults from around the world. Perhaps you even worked with your teacher to submit one of the more than 10,000 student artworks and quotations annually and had your artwork or quotation selected for our annual exhibit. So what is bucket filling and what does it mean to fill others' buckets? How about we let author and Embracing Our Differences friend Carol McLeod tell us more. Hello everybody, my name is Carol McLeod, although some people like to call me the bucket lady. Isn't that a funny name? But it's well deserved because I am always talking about buckets talking about them, thinking about them, and writing about them. And if you can see some of the books behind me, those are books that I have written about buckets. When we're bucket fillers, we're happier. And some people don't know about it. Maybe you do, but you're gonna be reminded or learn a lot more today. So I hope you all have a wonderful day reading together. And I'm hoping that you actually make that choice to be a bucket filler today and every day. Thank you, Carol. Now let's read about bucket filling with one of our friends from Manatee and Sarasota County. Teachers, if you'd like to pause the video at any time during the read along, please do not hesitate to do so. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, my name is Ta Garvin and I'm an Oslo Rep teaching artist. I'm also a member of the class of 2022 of the FSU Oslo Conservatory for Actor Training. And today I will be reading Buckets, Dippers and Lids, Secrets to Your Happiness by Carol McLeod, illustrated by Glenn Zimmer. Not just for kids. Do you know that everyone in the whole world has an invisible bucket, an invisible dipper and an invisible lid? It's true, everyone. Whatever your age, wherever you live, wherever you look like on the outside, you have an invisible bucket, dipper, and lid. Knowing how buckets, dippers, and lids will work will help you learn three secrets to your happiness. Buckets. Your bucket belongs only to you. It has been with you since the day you were born. Your bucket is not an ordinary bucket that holds water or sand. It's where you hold all your happiness. When you were little, you depended on other people to fill your bucket. They filled your bucket when they held you, played with you, and took good care of you. They also filled your bucket when they changed your stinky diapers. Ugh. As you grew, you started to fill your own bucket. You were so happy and proud, you learned to do things on your own, like riding a bicycle, reading a book, catching a ball. You were filling your own bucket. Filling your own bucket is a big part of your happiness. You fill at least two buckets whenever you are kind to others. First, you fill their bucket by being thoughtful towards them. Then you fill your bucket because you feel happy when you help others feel happy. Isn't it great to know that when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your bucket too? The good feeling you give others comes back to you. Filling a bucket is simple. First, think of someone who bucket need, could be filled. Then think of what you could do to fill it. Could you invite a friend to join you for lunch? Could you thank your mom or dad for a delicious dinner? Could you take time to play with your pet? <laughs> Even our pets have buckets. Could you help around the house? Bucket filling is a terrific habit because everyone is happier. Learning to fill buckets is the first secret to your happiness. Dippers. Dippers are what dip into buckets and remove some happiness. Bucket dipping is the opposite of bucket filling. Instead of adding some good thoughts and feelings, bucket dipping takes some away. Bucket dipping is a terrible habit because no one is happier. There are many ways to dip into buckets, calling people names, bullying them, pointing and laughing at them, just to name a few. This is a mystery. Why does everyone, including you, 
have an invisible dipper? And why would anyone have or use something to take happiness away? No one knows for sure. Bucket dipping could be a bad habit you learn from others. You may think it's okay to dip buckets if others do it. Bucket dipping is not okay. It is possible you don't know you're bucket dipping. After all, buckets and dippers are invisible. You can't actually see the dipping, but when your bucket is dipped, you will feel it. Your dipper can have a mind of its own. Unless you resist, it will jump into bucket dipping action before you know it, especially if someone dips into your bucket first. For example, what if your brother takes or breaks something special that belongs to you? Quick as a blink, without thinking about it, your dipper starts moving and then watch out, you dip right back. You might say things like, get lost or I hate you. You don't mean those things, but when you let angry feelings become hurtful words, your dipper takes a giant dip out of someone's bucket. And what happens to your bucket when you dip? You don't fill your bucket. You empty it more. You're not proud of yourself. You're less proud. Your dipper can't take someone else's happiness and put it into your bucket. Bucket dipping hurts everyone. Many people who dip into buckets will say the first thing that comes to their mind. They haven't learned to resist the urge to dip. Everyone must learn not to dip because everyone has a dipper. To keep everyone's bucket full, here are two good rules to follow. First, stop and think before you say anything. Second, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. You might be surprised how much practice you need. Learning to resist the urge to dip is the second secret to your happiness. Lids. You might be wondering, what's a lid? Good question. Even many grown-ups don't know they have a lid. And if you don't know you have a lid, how will you keep your bucket from being dipped and empty? It will certainly get dipped at some time, someday, somewhere, by someone. Your lid helps protect the happiness in your bucket. Do you know that you could be a super great bucket filler who almost never dips and your bucket could be empty? How could that be? It's because you don't know about your lid or how to use it. Think about your bucket as being filled with precious gems. Do you want others to steal your treasures? No way! Your happiness is just as valuable and you must protect it. After all, your bucket holds your good thoughts and feelings, and you need to keep them. That's why your bucket needs a lid. Here's how your lid works. When someone says or does something that dips into your bucket, you feel it. Instantly, you're not happy as you were a minute ago. You might feel sad, angry, hurt, scared, or embarrassed. Any ouch feeling is an important sign warning to you, use your lid. Let's imagine someone rudely says to you, where did you get that jacket? Ouch. That ouch feeling is the first sign your bucket is getting dipped. It's time to use your lid. Your lid says, stop. So stop, take a breath, and think, don't dip back. Remember, this is your bucket and you want it to stay full. Your lid gives you time to stop and think. It helps you from losing happiness while you try to understand why someone is dipping. Is it a bad habit they learned? Are they showing off in a hurry? Is their bucket a little low? You can be sure that if someone says or does something to hurt you, it's not about you. It's about them and their bucket that's not so full. However, if you don't know the problem is their less than full bucket and you dip back or remain hurt or angry, how will your bucket stay full? Talk to people who know about bucket filling and I'm sure they'll agree. There is another time when 
you need to use your lid. Do you know you can dip into your own bucket and take away your own happiness by what you tell yourself? Yes, you can. One way you do this is by comparing yourself to others. For example, what if you're upset or jealous because your new baby brother or sister is getting more attention than you? Use your lid to stop, think, and try to understand that people shine at different times and in different ways. Remind yourself that every person is valuable and every person is a star, including you. Your time to shine will come, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. And do you know that the people who love you and you love the most can dip into your bucket and you can dip into theirs? Bucket dipping happens in all families. No one is perfect. Your lid helps you to understand, forgive, and protect the good thoughts and feelings in your bucket. But don't keep your lid on your bucket all the time. If you do, how can you feel it? You only need your lid when someone is dipping. Most people, including parents, teachers, and friends, are awesome bucket fillers. Most of the time, they help you make your life terrific. Here's one more good thing to know. Your lid can help others and their lid can help you. You do this when you stand up for one another. However, if no one is around and your bucket is getting dipped, you need to use your lid to protect your own bucket or get help from others. Learning to use your lid is the third secret to your happiness. Now, you know about invisible buckets, dippers, and lids and how they work. First, everyone has a bucket and you can fill it with happiness. When you fill others, you fill your bucket too. Do your best every day to be kind and treat everyone in the same wonderful way that you would like to be treated. Second, everyone has a dipper that can take happiness away. You know that bucket dipping hurts everyone. Do your best to resist the urge to dip. And if you slip and dip, be sure to admit your mistake and say you're sorry. Third, everyone has a lid and lids protect happiness. When someone is dipping, do your best to imagine their less than full bucket. Maybe then you can understand and forgive them. But if you need help, always go to another bucket filler. Learning anything new, including these secrets to your happiness, requires practice. It can be difficult and you will make mistakes. Mistakes are a big part of learning, so don't give up. You can do it and it's worth your time and effort. With practice, you will get better. You will be happier and you will help others be happier too. Now, it is up to you. All around the world, thousands of people of all ages have taken the Bucket Fillers Pledge. We encourage you to make this same promise to yourself. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip, and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go. Thank you. Once again, my name is Tal Garvin, and I'm an Oslo Rep teaching artist, and I am a member of the class of 2022 at the FSU Oslo Conservatory for Actor Training. Thank you for reading with me. Bye. Now that you've learned about bucket filling and so much more, how would you like to take the Bucket Fillers Pledge and learn about the Bucket Fillers Challenge from our author? Are you ready? Let's go! So I would like you to take your right hand and raise it to the sky as high as you can. And then I want you to move it down to the opposite side of your chest and place it over your heart. And I'm going to invite you to join the Bucket Fillers Club by reciting this pledge and making a promise to yourself that you're gonna do your best to follow these secrets to happiness. So I want you to think about the words you're saying as you repeat them after me. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip, and to use my lid for myself and others at home, 
at school, and everywhere I go. Congratulations, boys and girls. You are officially in the Bucket Fillers Club. By saying those words and meaning them, of course, you are in a very special group of students and grown-ups and people all around the world who have made a promise to follow these rules so that their bucket will always be full. You've learned how to fill buckets and you've learned how to keep them full. And that is such an important part of your happiness. I would like to give you what I call the bucket filling challenge. And here's the challenge. And actually, we, we sort of set it right in the book. And that is that I want you to get into action. I want you to fill a bucket today just because you read this book. I want you to think of one person whose bucket you can fill today. Something over and above what you would normally do. But think of one person. You can do more, of course, but one person in particular. And then I want you to think of what you could do that could fill their bucket. It could be something you say, like, I think you're the best teacher in the world, or I love you, grandma. It could be something that you do, like help someone, just give someone a surprise, whether it's something that you made, just a secret that you give someone that's just a, something that you know will make them happy. It doesn't have to cost any money. It can just be something that comes from your heart. And I want you to fill a bucket today. And when you fill their bucket, I want you to notice two things. I want you to notice how you feel inside because that warmth you feel inside, that's your bucket filling up. And then I want you to notice or even think about how do you think the other person, do you think you filled their bucket too? Thank you for joining us today to learn more about bucket filling and how we can create school communities full of kindness and respect. For more bite-sized lessons and videos, visit embracingourdifferences.org, and we hope to see you at our annual outdoor art exhibit. Until then, bye for now.